One day you wake up and your best friend who you've been living with for several years isn't talking to you anymore. What did I do, you ask yourself? Maybe your friend is suffering from passive aggressive behavior. Let's observe what that behavior looks like. You may think I'm harassing her. I told her I was going to be cleaning today. She ignored me. She won't go there. Excuse me while I do this. Okay, Jerry, I'll see you later, okay? I gotta go. Yeah, I gotta go. This is passive aggressive behavior. Work out your anger with words. It'll help the people around you to cope better, too. This has been a message from the Psychiatric Institute of America. Yeah, I heard the previous owner died here. They said she'd turn over in her grave if she saw what we did to this place. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'll call you later. Bye. I'm Winifred Welters Waters III, or WWWW. And I'm JC. Welcome to this edition of If I Was His Mother. What beautiful flowers from Joanne Stalker. Joanne, how is your stalker? Still alive, Winnie, still alive. Today we are going to look at the game of soccer, or look, Mom, no hands. Here's a game that could use some real female wisdom. Wouldn't you say so, Winnie? I agree, JC. These men behave like boys in a bouncy castle after binging on sour patches and ring dings. Let's take a look at our first clip. What is he doing there? He's throwing a fit in front of all those people. No, they call that a flop. Uh, if he can't take a little bump in a soccer game, how's he going to handle the DMV? Or what about waiting in traffic? If I was his mother, I'd throw a diaper at him. I'd throw a dirty diaper at him. <laughs> okay, let's look at another clip. The blue team is winning. There's one minute left. Enough time for the other team to score. But look, look, look. This man from the winning team is hogging the ball, and so the clock runs out. Oh my god, I can't believe it. it just isn't right. The other team could have won. This ball hogging turns a good player into a pathetic fly buzzing around a pile of poop. If I was his mother, I'd super glue that ball to his behind. Here's another clip. We've seen that face before. Oh, 
If I was his mom, I'd tell him there's more to life than playing with balls. I'd tell him to stop making that ugly face. And here's our last clip. If he ever talked to me that way when I put carrots on his plate, I'd make him eat dog food for the rest of his life. <laughs> for the rest of his life. Somebody give him a ring ding and sit him on the bench. He's got a bad temper and low blood sugar. Give another player a chance. Well, that's all for today. Stay tuned next week when we ask, why didn't the rabbi shake the lady's hand at the funeral? And we reply, if, if I was his mother. mother. I'm Winifred Walters Welters. I'm Winifred Welters. I'm Winifred Welters. Girl, you don't know who you are? Waters the third, or WWW. And I'm JC. Good night. Good night, sleep tight. Kill, Kill the, the bed bugs, bugs before they bite. bite. Are you tired of saving babies? Is it hard to stop those maternal reflexes from reacting? Are you just trying to relax? Are you just exhausted from your superpower reactions? Take one of these. Relax and let what's going to happen, happen. You're important too. <laughs> Do you know any hymns?
Relax. How's the grill going? Oh, it's going good. I got up a little early to start the coals. Didn't see you out here. I was up before you. It was dark out when I came down. Well, I didn't have to get up too early. I got preheated coals. Ooh, where'd you get those? My assistant flew down to Peru to get special coals from the forest. They were lit centuries ago, and um, they never went out. This is ancient fire, baby, ancient fire. What kind of meat you got? Oh, I got a 20-year-age brisket. Mmm, I got brisket, too. Mine comes from a happy cow. My cow is happy, too. Mm. And it could roll over. And it could even play dead. Yeah, but my cow was happy because he was free. My cow was happy because it couldn't stand to live anymore. It wanted to die. Good, he's dead. It, well, yeah, he's right here. Yeah. What are you going to have with the brisket? <gasps> oh, I got some special peppers. Yum. I had some truffle delivered. They were snuffed out with a Scottish pig named Peppy. Oh, really? Peppy. Oh. But, I, but really, listen, listen, listen. I got a delivery today, too. You did? For a little old lady in Patagonia. She made spicy sauce. You know, really spicy. Mm. With the peppers that are hot. You know, yeah. hot peppers from the earth. The hottest pepper on the earth. Ooh, it sounds so just a little lava from a volcano. It's guaranteed to prevent stomach cancer. Wow. Oh, yeah. And it arrives on the back of a pigeon. Mm. Oh, look, 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 there goes the pigeon! <laughs> My truffles, they get rid of wrinkles and gas. Oh, mm -hmm. really? Mm -hmm. Well, why do we keep lying to each other? Mm -hmm. Let me see what you really got under there. You want to see? Yeah. What you got? I got brisket, I told you. Oh, no, you don't. I got a big brisket. Look. No, you don't have brisket. It's a hot dog. Oh. I had this wine delivered 100 years old from a dungeon in Russia. Oh. You want glass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go. Just a little bit. Make sure you smell it. Just smell it a little bit. It smells whoa, like whoa, a war. Whoa, whoa. When I was a soldier, I sat down the man who keep the wine. Cheers. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Susan. Yes, I'm gonna. What are you looking at? Thank you.